Vicky, where I am today. I am at the Dog Junkies thrift store because they are having a 50% off sale. I need to get inside and see what's left. Now I'm here at the last two hours of the sale and I always hear people say like, oh, you can't find anything, you know, if it's at the end of the day. Well, I'm here at the end of the day after a 50% off sale and I am sure I'm gonna find some cool stuff in here. I always do. So let's go. Right off the bat, I see these are still here. These were here before. And I didn't pick them up and I regretted not picking them up. So I'm gonna pick up this little set of lusterware. It's It's Noritake. It's a nice little set. We're gonna get that. Oh, and I just bought a little dish that goes with it. Get that for a dollar. Let's see what else is on the shelf. Oh, they're plastic. This looks like Stangle. Is that Stangle? Oh, it sure is. Sure is Stangle. I don't know. I like Stangle. This doesn't have a price on it, but you know what? I bet the price will be right. Oh, is this? Does this match? It does match. So it'd be five dollars. For the cream and sugar set. I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up too. The other thing I see on this shelf are these really cute mugs. Now they'd only be 50 cents a piece, so I can do something with those. Put those in. Look at it. I've already got a little cart go in here. And they got a really nice set of china here but I just don't do sets of china. This is Style House Chippendale made in Japan. There are a lot of pieces mostly like real functional usable pieces. Oh, what is that one? Some birds. Oh look these match. You're gonna leave those though. Pretty sweet little. You know, she knows. She knows I'm not going to get that one. I like it though. It's very, very busy in here, so I'm going to have to really work hard not to get people on camera. But I can do it. Okay, those are interesting. I can't quite make out what that design is and it's glaring there. It's like trees. Hmm. Okay. It doesn't totally excite me. Let's see what's under here. And I'm hoping I've got my special microphone on, so I'm hoping that I get to keep my voice in here instead of having to totally do a voiceover. Which is just a lot more work. Alright, let's look on this side. We've got some clear glass. Looking through here. This is a piece of Bristol glass. That would be five dollars. I think it would have had a stopper at some point. Oh, there's some sugared fruit. Oops, not watching my viewfinder. I'm hoping that I'm not showing you stuff that you can't see. This is an interesting bowl. It's a Brody. I, I not often know them for their vases, not so much bowls. It's interesting. Hmm. I wonder if all the blood is rushing to his head right now. Remember when you were a kid and you stood upside down? Obviously he's a stopper or he was part of something. But now he's just perpetually upside down. All right, what have we got in here? I kind of like these leaves. I think these were here the last time I was here. Just nice little maple leaves. 
I need to be careful. I'm getting a lot of stuff. I'm getting behind. I'm going to have to really go full force into starting to get stuff listed to the booth and all that good stuff so that I am not completely overwhelmed. Okay, I'm going to hit some clothing, but not on camera. I'm going to keep the camera. Look at these chairs. Ooh. I'm going to keep the camera on the hard goods and stuff, but look at these chairs. Oh, I guess they got they sold them. Those are pretty fantastic chairs. Like, I'm not so fond about the colors, but the bones are good. I could see recovering those into something pretty cool. Okay, now I'm on the other side here, and we've got lots of Kentucky Derby glasses. And most of the Kentucky Derby glasses are not really going to be worth much. The ones you want to look for are the ones that have the Triple Crown winners. Um, the year they won, so they're not going to be listed yet, so you need to know what year that would have been. For instance, Secretariat won in 1973, so the 1973 glass won't have his name yet, but that's a valuable glass. Oh, I see a Bunnykins. Oh, this Bunnykins does have a crack. Yep, we're going right through it. That's a shame. We'll switch. <laughs> it's a cute little set. All right. Music's getting a little loud on this end, so I'm not sure how this is going to work out, but I think as long as I keep talking, my microphone wants to pick up on me. These are interesting. Yeah, it's just a set of four, though. If there was a set of eight of those little guys, I probably would have grabbed those. Okay, I'm kind of back here in the back, so I think the music's a little quieter back here. And they got some more kind of little nicky knackies on the shelf. Ooh, I like the nest with the eggs. I think I'm going to grab the nest with the eggs for sure. And I'm going to take a look at these doggies. Now, I picked up a couple things that I need to set down for a second. Little prizes that I'm going to be giving away in my live sale. So, um, I'm going to get that for sure. Oh, look at these little guys. These little coasters. There's... Is there four of them? You guys know anything with a specific breed on it does really well. And there are four. There's four of these little Westy coasters. And then there's a little welcome sign. Westy. And then there's a little figurine. So I think we're probably going to have a Westies lot. I will put all these things together because I know somebody out there has got a Westie. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that, too. I left my basket all the way up at the front, though, so I have to go back. I have to go back and get my basket. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Look how cute that is. All right. Let me gather this stuff up, and I'll be back. These little... Oh, it's just a single... A single Santa. Maracas. All right, let's see. Filled up, filled up my little cart with all my little tchotchke things there. Now I'm back to see what else I need to put in it. What's hiding on the shelves? This is a Tanala plate. It would be $5. Yeah, I just, I'm just not big on shipping plates. So I am going to leave that one for someone else. Right there. I do kind of like these lamps. They're kind of cute. I don't think they're that old, though. All right, let's go here. Bell 
bells galore. Bells galore. Now we've got some cows back here. I thought maybe they were cow parade, but they're not. They're they're just hobbyist pieces. Oh, this is a cute little little hammock. But I spotted this. It's a a fairly modern base. That is a Scooby Doo. Yeah, I seen this small little one for the prank for Oh, I'm kind of liking these. I wish they were solar, though. I don't think they're solar. No, they plug in. If they were solar, I'd get them. Awful cute, though, aren't they? Maybe I do need them. Do I need them? No, I don't need them. I really don't need them. I don't need them. I'm sure that character is somebody. Who is that? That's Hello Kitty. It, I don't think is it. Is she in like a? Why is she like all? You know, everything looks kind of like dark. They do it like the new Japanese animation. Okay, yeah. all right. So that's Hello Kitty. I think that's why she said it was Hello Kitty. Yeah. All right. It doesn't look like the original. It does not. Mm -mm. It does not look like it. I. It puzzled me. I guess the bow gives it away though, right? Yeah. All right, what the heck? We'll do. We'll do Hello Kitty. This is interesting. It's got. It's got a mark right there, casting a shadow. It's kind of a. It's a pretty dish. I think. I think I'll pick that up. I like that. Let's see. I just spotted these. Are they all the same? Home is where my cat is. Life is better with a cat. I know these come from World Market. And these make really good giveaways. So I'm going to get those too. Put them down on my dish. Okay. I think that does it for these shelves. Okay, let's see. Look at this. These are like. I don't know who that is. It's whoever those guys are. Alrighty then. He's broken. Oh, there's a little. A little watercolor. Oops, that glare. There you can see it now. I guess it goes this way. It's kind of sweet. And we've got a little dolphin and a little seal. Oh, he's got a little shit. We're going to get this dolphin. We're going to get him. All right, now we're on the other side. Let's see what's over here. You guys, I just, I don't know enough about these to know enough to buy these. So if that's something that you dig, I'm sure you can come down here and get a good deal on them. Sure. I don't care. Sure. I think that's a light. Oh, I like this. It's a little wood basket. That would be four dollars. I will pick that up. And what is this? Oh, it's a little patchwork kitty. You know what? This was made out of a quilt. It was made out of an old quilt. I think I'm going to pick this up too. Alright, let's get this. Alright, let's see what's on these shelves. So this is a nice little copper pot. I never know though what's in 
normal on these. Well, what's like damaged? Like, I can't, even, can't get it open. It's made in Portugal. It seems like good quality, right? It's four bucks. It's only got one little dent in it. I think I'll pick that up. Oh, here's another one. This one is pretty bent, though. The lid doesn't go on. Ooh, am I making you guys a little seasick going sideways there? I think this is probably the same from the same maker. I don't see the made in Portugal on this one like I did the other one. And this one's pretty dented up. So, we are going to leave that one. Who's the, oh, these are candles. They're citronella candles. It's kind of nice. This is kind of a neat. Hmm. It's actually really pretty. Well, it would only be one dollar. Some of them grab that too. I'm going to put these little soaps in these little, little Westy bags. Those are super cute. All right, let's see what we've got over here. This is the Francoma piece. It's still a little more than I can pay for it. This is a nice art pottery bowl. I like this. That'd be two dollars. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one up. Oh, there's more of that cookware. I don't know anything about copper cookware, but it just seems like a good price. Like five dollars for that one and four for this one. And I see a little saucepan as well. And a little saucepans. And does the copper just dent really easy? Because this one's pretty dented up on the bottom, unfortunately. So we'll put that one back. But I think I'm going to get the two frying pans. And we're going to try those out. We're here to make Thor famous. Thor, Thor. So can you tell us Thor's story? So Thor is a four-year-old American bulldog okay, closer mix. To the microphone. He's a four-year-old American bulldog mix. Um, he's super, super intelligent, smart. Uh, loves humans, children, all of it. He just does not do so well with animals because he is actually almost completely blind and he will go completely blind because he has a retinal disease. But he's so smart that doesn't slow him down. He's doggy door trained. He loves to hang out in crates. He knows there's people out yes, there. Yes, <laughs> he does. He wants to hang out. Thor, Thor, come and look over here. Come here, baby. He just needs a home so bad because before he goes blind, it would be nice he to needs put to him. acclimate. Yes, yeah. He yeah, needs to know yeah. his surroundings. He, there he is. There's my Hi. handsome boy, Thor. Come here. Oh. <laughs> He's yeah. so sweet. He's really such a good boy. And he just deserves a home. So we're looking for a home um, for him, not an apartment or a condo. He needs a home uh, with no other animals because his blindness does make him, you know, get a little uh, rally because he yep. doesn't know if they're... Yeah, defensive. What, yeah, of he's course. defensive. Yeah. Um, no young children either because he is blind and he will be knocking into them and knocking them over. Um, he's kind of like a bull in a china shop. So, <laughs> um, But he's a great dog. Um, he needs a home so, 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 so bad. So if anyone's interested, please, please call Diana or text her at 702-239-7986 or go to ahomeforspot.com and that's the number four, ahomeforspot.com. Also, if you're not in Las Vegas and you would just like to support Thor's care and some of the other dogs' care, you can go to ahomeforspot.com and there's mm -hmm. a place to donate. Yep, a big yellow button that says donate. It goes yep. right to our PayPal. Thank you. All right, let's see what's on the shelves here as I finish up. Oh, those are kind of sweet. All right, there's two of them. I really kind of like those. 
I'm gonna pick those up. I think I looked at that last time too. All right. Now we're gonna go look at some jewelry. Let's see if we can peek in here without it glaring too much. That's really, I kinda like that with the mother of pearl, the little, the little girl necklace. I like that one too. So they're a little busy checking people out, but when they're done, I'm gonna have them pull some of this jewelry out and we'll take a closer look. Let's look over here at some of their nice crystal. And I saw this little pot under here. It's kind of cute. Now I was looking at the Kachina, but I think Mr. Kachina might be missing his arms. He is, unfortunately. Oh, that was way heavier than I expected it to be. The little glass chili pepper. Or strawberry. Is it a chili pepper or is it a strawberry? You guys tell me. Chili pepper or strawberry? And then let's look under here. Oh, that's funny. If that was spelled the right way, you know I would have had to have gotten it. The leak in the box. Oh, that's pretty. So look at this little hanging Pinocchio little guy. So it would be $10. I just don't know much about him. But you guys see something you're interested in. You let me know, or if you're local, come on down to Dog Junkies Thrift Store. Okay, there's a little jewelry I can peruse through. Just sold a Napier uh, bracelet. You know what? These are kind of cool. Look at those. Let's see what else is here. I know the music is really loud next to me, so. Oh, look at these. How cool is that? I always find these without the little doggies attached. Here, I'm going to put something down so I can show this to you a little better. Look at that. It's got all the little. The little doggies hanging this little spice. Guys, that's so rare to find it with all the pieces. Maybe 50 bucks. Top price. And they are made in Japan. That is so cool. Oh, and I spot this cool salt and pepper set back here. Let's see. This would be four dollars. Those are pretty nice, aren't they? Ooh. I don't think I can do that though. I mean, that's a great price. I just personally can't do that. All right, this is where I set down my stuff. It's really cool stuff. I'm gonna have to put down the camera and look a little closer. Oh, look at this music box. Of course, I took my mouth completely away from the speaker. So it would be $15 because it's half price. That is a great price. All right, let me go see what damage I can do in the jewelry. I just am over here in the art and I spot this. It's the Twin Islands Mokoluau and Mokolia across from Lanakai Beach, Oahu, Hawaii. The frame is koa wood. I love that. I am going to get that. It is coming home with me. And now that of course I do that. I can... So what else is here? I have gotten some really nice pieces of art here before. Got some mirrors. Alright, I think that's what we're going to do art-wise. Great, look at these things. Okay, so that is, that is, that's all like hand beaded on there. Yeah, and turquoise inlaid in there. 
How much is that one? I don't see a price tag on it's that. It's on one. the back of the. Oh, it's on the back of the. Ah, hundred dollars. Okay. So it would be fifty dollars today. We have, we have, we have a, this orange. is really cute too. It's still up there. The this orange is interesting orange too. Get that one this down. This is copper. Oh, look at they have a whole wall of see the orange jewels one? in there. Oh yeah, okay. I see that orange one. Okay, it's very tribal. It's like this one too. I like this one too. And it comes with earrings and would only be 10 bucks. So I think we're gonna pick this one up. All right. All right, we're gonna get this one and then we're gonna see what else we can find. All right, I like these dainty little, okay, it's got a name on it. What does that say? Oops, I guess I should show it on the. I don't know what it did say on the tag there. So it would be 15, but I don't know. I can't read what that little name says on there. Oh, look, is that a whale? It's a whale. I'm not showing you. I'm, t I'm doing the talking and then I'm not showing you. That's a little whale. Ah, can't pick it up. It's a little humpback whale. Okay, let's put that one aside. This one's pretty. Again, it's got a little... Oh, that's a Claire's. Okay. Alright, I think out of there we're going to get the whale. I like... I like the seagull too. All right, I'm gonna find out about the seagull too. Okay. Look how pretty that one is. All the little beads. I'm gonna pick that one up. All right, we're gonna pull a couple things off of the little pendant tray here. I think I'm gonna get. Yeah, I like that piece there. Did you and look in the I like, place down here? I don't like that piece there. I just stopped by to purchase these. Here it is. I missed out on it. Okay. Um, look at the little. They're horseshoe. Oh, okay. And they're oh, articulated bear. $40. So they're $20. That's what I want to today. So that's right. That's a smart price. man. Yeah. Mm, think about that yeah. one. I'm going to buy those. That is smart to come into this. A little fused there. glass. And, and I went back it. in here. Oh, I found another yeah, unpriced yeah. one. I'm going to set them up tonight. I'm going to grill out. Try that new thing I just got. You're going to grill at a windy day like this, huh? Yeah, he's, I use he's charcoal. Gonna, and I you know what? I'm going to get slow, that so one. Like smoke kind of thing. There you go. Ooh. Ooh. This is how you grill anyway. It charcoal. A little. We'll do a tenure one and those jalapeno mm. pops. Ooh, it sounds good. Enjoy. Thank you. And enjoy your horseshoes. Thank you. Let's see. Are you ready? Are you ready? No. Okay. That's a little bird popping out of an egg. That's what it is. How stinking cute is that? <laughs> All right, I gotta have that one. All right, I think I better stop. I'm going to San Diego next week, and uh, I'm gonna have myself very overwhelmed with stuff. Okay. Well, I think that was another successful trip to Dog Junkie's thrift store. Uh, I just love this place. Uh, they're so nice and personable. You know, I just remembered I was going to look at more clothes and I didn't look at more clothes. I guess I'll have to come back and shop again. Anyways, um, if you're in the Las Vegas area, be sure you come and support this thrift store. They are at 4324 North Decatur and they're open Tuesday. I'm looking at their I'm looking at their little sign. They're open Tuesday through Saturday. Tuesday through Friday is 11 to 4. Saturdays are 9 to 4. Follow them on Facebook because she does these pop-up sales. She does uh, what she calls her QVC sales where she gets some really nice designer um, item like a lot of times it's like handbags, you know, purses and wallets and things and some other really, really desirable items. And literally you call and you claim it. 
and uh, it's like QVC. And I have uh, volunteered that if one of my viewers wants to purchase something on the QVC, I will ship it for them. So if you follow them, you watch their QVC, never fear, I will get it shipped to you if you wanna purchase something. Um, with that, oh yes, and Thor, if you know of someone or you could provide Thor with a forever home, he is a great dog, just a special needs dog. Needs a forever family and with the conditions that we talked about, so um, we gave you the phone number earlier on. I'm also going to put that down in the description as well as the link for a home for spot so that if you want to support this really, really awesome nonprofit, you can do so. Okay, now with that, go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you on the next one.